Great morning to you guys. Been a while since a uh, devotion or word of encouragement went up, um, but I just wanted to post this today. So devotions will be coming back sometimes, maybe a few times a week, maybe not every day um, as schedules change and that type of stuff. However, today is Pentecost Sunday. So I did want to at least post something about this day that we celebrate as believers. Uh, to, you know, for those of you that don't know what Pentecost is, it's the day that the promise of the Holy Spirit came down to us and 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 the initial set of disciples uh, were filled with the Holy Ghost and on that day of Pentecost the gospel was spread in that upper room and it was such a marvelous marvelous awesome work of God happening where we see that when Jesus left he promised that the comforter would come down and I encourage you to read that in the book of Acts as I'm not gonna actually read it to you today uh, but today we do celebrate that day. I, I want to encourage you to reflect on that. Reflect on that. And I want to even ask you this. Are you filled with the gifts of the Spirit? Now, I know there's much debate as to if people should do this, if people should do that. What I want to ask you to do is make your relationship with God personal. See, the gifts of the Spirit, the infilling of the Spirit, even the fruit of the Spirit, right? Uh, love, joy, all those things that the, that the Word talks about are things that you would understand when you have a relationship with God. When you know God, then you can know his gifts and his fruit, right? If you don't know God, you, you won't understand the gifts and the fruit and the character that he expects us to have. And I will also say you can't have the gifts without having the fruit. I mean, I've seen a lot of believers who say they're filled with the spirit but then behind people's back they talk very bad about them and they do other things that they shouldn't do and i believe that that shouldn't happen now no one's perfect and we're all works in progress when it comes to to being christians um but that's besides the point today i want to encourage you dig deep into the book of acts right see what happened on that day then go into some of the other books and see what these gifts of the spirit are understand the power of the infilling of the Holy Spirit and what can happen and how God can use you to transform your life and transform your ministry as we celebrate this Pentecost Sunday. Furthermore, I'm also going to talk about something else. You know, it's Pentecost Sunday. We celebrate a day when God's people came together and were filled because they were in one accord in one place. That means this morning that you shouldn't be the type of Christian that's far away from a church today. You shouldn't be the type of Christian that's not attending some type of service or some type of gathering. Right now, I'm not talking about those who maybe for some insane reason can't get to a service, but you're there every week. You're there for your Bible study. You're there for your, your, your maybe your, your end of the week service. If you're there multiple times every week and this is a one-off instance, fine. But I'm talking about those who maybe don't have the habit of, of coming out to, to the gathering of yourselves together. His word says, do not forsake the, 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 um, the assembling of yourselves together as the manner of some, all the more as the day approaches. So it says we should even be more aware to not forsake our Bible studies, not forsake our Sunday mornings, not forsake our Friday nights, whether it's a prayer service or whatever you have. All the more as we see the day approaching. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen what's going on in the world today with all the crazy decisions by governments and famines and all these things happening. But it seems like like the return of the Lord is, is coming soon, you know. So as we celebrate this day of Pentecost, my, my simple encouragement to you today is get out to an area this morning where you can praise the Lord with other people don't forsake the assembling of yourselves together because just as in a, a successful marriage or, or a successful relationship, you make a sacrifice for the other person and there's some type of compromise so that you can live that life with someone else that you would want to. I want you to realize that you have to make a sacrifice for the kingdom. You may not feel like it. You might say, I'm tired, I'm this, I'm that, right? Uh, it's too tired, I can't get out to Bible study, I did this, or oh, I feel a little bit sick today. Understand that whatever your circumstances, that circumstance can be changed by the sacrifice that you make because when you make that sacrifice, that's when the blessing comes, right? No pain, no gain. If you don't break that muscle tissue, the new tissue can't grow back to give you more muscle. So all in all this morning, I want to encourage you, get out to church today. 
get out to a service. It's early enough. Find somewhere where, where people are worshiping in a spirit-filled manner and so you can celebrate this day of Pentecost. The day when, 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 when the promise of, of, of what Jesus told his initial set of disciples came down and filled them and with, with so much power and authority. And they were able to go and change the world for the best. Guys, have an awesome day. God bless you. Take care.